So in today's episode, you are gonna see Will carrying on on the dormer. You're gonna see plenty of internal woodwork and also an exciting bit, the windows are getting fitted at last. So before we get onto that, I've been telling you for many, many days now that we've got a very exciting announcement come in, but we've had a lot of interest and things have escalated pretty quickly. So instead of being February, the announcement will now be in March. If you're interested in getting into the trade, you want to change career, you're an apprentice, you want to find out more information about being in the trade, watch this space, the info will be coming soon. Stay tuned and enjoy the show. Look at that beautiful bit of work there. It's going to be basically an understair area there. Pete's going to get the window boards in, in this and that window over there. We've got an exciting thing happening today. The windows are getting fitted. Good morning guys and welcome along to another day on site. So today we've got lots going on as always. We're going to get this lining finished here. Pete made a good start on all this yesterday. You saw us using the table saw as basically a jointer and getting all these joints nice and straight so when they're clamped together and glued together and biscuited together, they look like one piece. Once it's all painted in, you'll never know. Morning, Joe. Morning. Joe is just in here now getting this original plaster off here because obviously our lining is going to span the full width of this and this will impede us if it stays. So we're just going to take this off take this off off this lintel as well then we can get our bit of stud work built down to bring it down to this height here that will be basically the back of the lining so the lining will sit down from that and that will give us our door height and our height for our rail pete is just off doing his driving lessons when he returns he's going to be fitting this so this is our pocket door pete's going to be doing his very own video pete's first proper video joe on his own basically pete has not fitted one of these before a pocket door but as you all know pete is a very competent builder so i have every faith in him that he'll be able to just smash it in easily they're really straightforward to do so he will be getting that in here and then what we've got to do is then build the stud work around like i've mentioned we've got all our timber there for it so hopefully by maybe end of play today we'll see but pretty soon that will be in once that's all in then we can get these returns done these reveals here and then i can carry on and get the rest of this room wrapped up obviously bar the window walls the windows are getting fitted very soon and then the big one here that is getting fitted in about four weeks i believe obviously everything's a bit up in the air with covid and everything we've got extended waiting time so once it's in it will look epic will is outside on the roof he's got his time lapse up there so you can see him working his magic he is just getting the lead work done around the window let's go up and see morning will so, Will today, as you can see, he's made awesome progress up here. This is looking mint, mate, absolutely mint. Of course it is. Look at that beautiful bit of work there. All his leads all in nicely. We've got these lovely corner tiles on here as well, so it just makes it look really nice. Once this is all weathered in as well, it will turn the same colour as all these tiles, so it will look as if it has always been here. So what Will's working on today is the lead work around the window. So he's got a piece to weld up here, a nice flashing bit along there. Here. <laughs> loads of soakers to go in up here and up here as well then we've got our vent detail to put in the way across the top like i mentioned to you before we've got our eaves vents under there and then we come up here and this basically allows airflow to come up through the back and then circulate through the top as well which basically just keeps this whole insulated envelope breathable so we don't get any sweating or anything like that in there but yeah that, that is what is going on i'm going now to do some work let's do it Okay, so what I've done is got my last two pieces. Like I mentioned, you've seen Pete's got all these together. So I'm just gonna literally run you through now what we're gonna use. This is Pete's biscuit jointer. Uh, it basically has a little disc in there which cuts some little holes in which our biscuits fit, which are these. So it makes a little hole like that. And you literally just slot, once it's cleaned out, fill it with glue, slot your biscuit in, 
and then push the next piece up to it, clamp them together, and then that gives you a nice solid joint then where it's not going to twist or warp or anything like that. So what I've done, I held my two pieces together, and then I put these lines across, you can see here, and they obviously join up with these ones. Just make sure you've got a nice straight line that goes through, so then when you come to cut your biscuit, you know that they're going to line up perfectly then. And then when you get your biscuit jointer, you get that lined up like so, and then just push it in, and it literally makes a hole. That is it. Nice and easy. What I've also done is connected it to my little dust extractor, so it just pulls all the dust straight out, which is beautiful. You don't want to be inhaling any of this stuff, do we? What I'm going to do is get all these cut in now, and then we can get them glued up and clamped up, and they'll be ready to go in over there. Got to use the biscuit. We've got our holes cut out now, and using the dust extractor as well, it basically sucks everything out there. So you haven't got to clean out these joints. They're ready to go now. So both my pieces here are done. So what I'm going to do is get a little jig set up so we can clamp these together because I've only got one sash clamp on site. And rather than go off and get the others, I'm just going to use some wedges and basically clamp it all together. But I'll show you that in a second. Um, but yeah, they're they're all done now. They're all ready to receive the biscuits. So let's get on with it. So, my timber is all ready now. I've got my little area set up. I've got some wedges, which are down there. I've got my glue and my biscuit. My biscuit joints are open and ready. Blowing all the dust out. And just give this a light sanding down just so there's no lumps anywhere or anything like that to stop them closing up nicely. So I'm just gonna get these glued up now. Me and Joe are gonna get it all glued up. Glue this edge up as well. Tap our biscuits in. Do the same on this edge. And then tap it all together and clamp it all together. We've also got some bits of ply here, which will bridge across both pieces and basically hold it nice and flat. So yeah. That's it. Let's do it, Joe. Do it. Right, so that's our first one, all clamped together, glued up, biscuited. You can see what we've done is basically got some timber, fixed that down to our table, and then just used some wedges, driven them in to close everything up nicely. And then we've just got these little pieces of ply, which are just pre-drilled, and then just screwed them in. That just holds everything nice and flat to stop any twist. I've just tapped it down with some timber as well to make sure that we are fully flat all the way across. I was having a bit of a trouble here getting this tight up, so I have had to put a few clamps in here, but apart from that, our little wedge system has worked wonders. So now I've just got to repeat this two more times. I'll get these in and then leave them to go off fully. And then we can get them cut to size, ready for our opening. How would you say good morning in Icelandic? Here is your translation. I don't know. Something round. Golvandai. Golvandai. Govan Dying YouTube. It's the best I can do. <laughs> so, good morning YouTube and welcome along to another week on site. It is Monday morning. I hope you've had a lovely weekend. Morning Joe. Good morning. Good morning. So, Joe is just getting a piece of plasterboard in up there. You can see we've built this line in here. Uh, this is basically going to be a fixed door over that side and then a sliding door on this side. So we're just getting this last bit of board in so we know exactly where to set the line in to. Just to make our life easier because we've got all sorts of different levels going on with brickwork and plaster and all sorts on that side. So once Joe's got that in we can then get that line in set up and we'll show you how we do that. Pete has got this lovely pocket door system in here so you can see we've got our double sliding doors. He has basically shown how to construct this. Dave the plumber is here today to get the shower tray set and not set in stone they just set so we can get the waste in for that and for the basin and then we can screw that little area ready for greg to come what else have we got to do what else have we done will's just popped off to the merchants to get all the gutter in gonna be running the gutter in around today get all that in as well so yeah we've got a lot going on a lot has happened so let's do less talking and more working So the lining is now in. You can see that we've used, 
way. I've used a load of sliding wedges around here, just at all the screw points, all the fixing points, just to make sure we're nice and flat and level. So that is in now looking good. All I'm gonna do is just trim these back with my little uh, pull saw, my little Japanese saw. Get all those trimmed back, get some board in here, squeeze some dab at the back of that as well, up there. So that's all nice and solid in that corner. And then this wall is good to go up until this point. So what we're gonna do in here is just get some bits of plasterboard in here, some plasterboard across this head as well. And then I'm gonna wet plaster these two cheeks just up to this point, and that can all be skimmed in as well. I didn't really do too much explaining about this because I believe I've done a video on fitting the door line before. Shoop Prepart YouTube, that is Hindi, I believe, hopefully. Hopefully I'm getting these right, I'm trying. At least give me like an A for effort, we'll see. <laughs> right, so anyway, good morning and welcome to another day. Got an exciting thing happening today. The windows are getting fitted. Not this big one, unfortunately, that's still gonna be a few weeks away yet, but all the other windows in the property are all gonna get fitted today. So we've got the guys from Sherwell Windows just getting organized, ready and they are gonna get all these windows installed. So we've got 10 windows in total going in. So we've got one in here. We've got a window going either side here, but the door is going in afterwards. So that won't go in today. That's coming from a separate place. And then we've got obviously our windows this side and one the same over that side as well. And then we've got our two dormer windows, two bathroom windows, and then there's a bedroom over the other side as well, which is having a new window in as well. We've just got these reveals on here. So these two cheeks. Joe actually put that one on. I haven't filmed this again because Joe's learning the ways of the trowel. They've got hard wall in there. Once that's gone off enough, we can then get that floated up. This bit of timber here, like you can see, just because there was a little bit of difference because that was old block work, that was new block work. We just put this bit of timber up here and that's basically a guide for our plaster to come from. So we've come from the frame here to that. So that's giving us a nice square return here. And then what we'll do is you can see I've taken this edge up. I'm just gonna cut down the inside of that. So imagine this is obviously that side. I'm just gonna cut down the side here and then remove the tape and then our little jam will slot straight in there and then we can skim up to it and it'll all be sealed in nicely. Just showing everybody your handiwork on there, mate. Most of it's here. <laughs> yeah, there's a bit there, I'm but alive, it's but fine. Yeah, I did all right. <laughs> yeah. So hard wall, if you've ever used it, it is quite a messy product to use. You do end up getting it everywhere, but you know, it's part of the learning curve anyway. So he's done very well with that. I'm very impressed with him. Sabak Uheiri YouTube, that is Arabic I believe, for well, good morning and welcome to another day on site. So today, is a, it's a special day, there's been somebody missing from our hearts and our lives for three days now I think, two, three days, it's been, it's been three, days. three days, three long days, tiring days, and he's back, Pete is back. Hi Pete. Hi John, you alright? Yeah, he basically wanted a bit, a bit of a holiday, didn't you Pete? He reckons he was ill. You reckon you had the, the lurgy going round, but... Yeah, yeah, well, well I did have the lurgy going round, which uh, I got off Joe, so... <laughs> I'm not trying to hold anyone accountable, but yeah, it's definitely Joe's fault. Definitely not, yeah. You definitely aren't patient zero. No, not at all. Everyone's got a patient zero. I know who gave it to me, you just don't know him, so you all blame me. Yeah, you're, you're patient zero of this site. <laughs> So right, today we've got some stuff going on as ever. Lots of stuff, exciting stuff. Pete is just getting this bit of stud section going up here, which I've mentioned to you before. How bloody rude. We're also gonna get a bit of stud work across here for the doorway. Hopefully the plumbing's gonna be here today as well, so we can get that bit of floor screeded in there. And there's a bit of wall upstairs which is coming down, which we need to do before we get the ceiling boarded because we're gonna bring all the bricks out and drop them through here and out to the skip. There's also a bit of stud work to go in across here. We're gonna bring this wall out level with that reveal down there, if you remember me saying. So we can just board right the way through and there'll be no step in the wall at all. Let me go and show you these upstairs. Will has done. And yesterday we got the dome on. I think you saw some time lapse of it happening, but they are on now and they are looking awesome. Here they are. So these are 
the domes. Self cleaning glass. These aren't open as these two. It's just condensation on here now. Look, when the rain hits these, it just falls off to the side because they're angled like that. But they're really good. They look really nice. Absolutely love these. They're a sealed unit, so we had to make sure everything was fully clean inside. And then because it was a little bit windy, dust kept coming in and all sorts of stuff. So it was a bit of a nightmare to get them on, but they look epic. They're really, really good. And this is the opener here. So this one opens up. You can see it's got the rainwater sensor there. So if the wind is ever open and you're not around or whatever, you don't realize it's raining, this window will automatically close back down. All our windows as well, they're all in now. You can see they're looking mint. Wheel is absolutely smashing through the roof. The dormer's all finished off as you can see here. We just got a vent fit across the top, which we're gonna hopefully crack on with today. There's a bit of guttering to do as well. And that's it, we're pretty much done up here. Will's doing a wicked job as ever. So let's crack on. So Joe and Pete are coming on amazingly in here. Joe's got all this insulated, which is looking good. I'm gonna leave this section out here because like I mentioned earlier, we've got the wall to take down. So we're gonna be bringing our rubble down through there. That'll be tomorrow now. Just client needs a bit of time to clear the room out, which is fine. Pete has got this extra bit of stud work up. So you can see the whole wall now runs through flush all the way down. And then we just board that straight into the reveal and then it'll just be like it was meant to be. There'll be no step in there or anything like that. Just because of where the fridge is going to go, they would have ended up with a big step at the back here. So it just makes sense just to do it like this. We'll then insulate this as well just to stop the wall feeling hollow. And that is all good. Pete's also got this nib in here. So we're going to have a door lining which will go across here, which will obviously be the entryway into the shower room. So we've still got a bit of sud work to do up here, which I'll crack on with now. And then we've got this as well. We're going to take this door lining out, get a new lining in there. This is going to be a cupboard eventually with no door on. And then we'll just put our stud work up there, obviously, to bang that all off. And then this can all be boarded. Let's do it. Right, so next up, we are going to sort out this here. So we've basically, like I said before, this is going to be a cupboard. We've taken up the parquet floor in from in here. Pete is just marking up where our finished line is going to be because what we're going to do is fit our stud work. So it's going to run across with this null post, back in that way, and then straight across here. The client will be able to access from in here. There's going to be a shelf which will run across here, or shelving which will run across this edge, and then across the back edge of the cupboard. And then obviously it will only be accessible from the shower room in there. So we're just getting set out now. We're going to put some damp underneath it as well, just to make sure, because obviously there's an old floor underneath there. So make sure nothing comes up through it, and then just run our stud around here and around here and we've got a bit of magic to work all up in this area there's obviously a landing to go in up there as well but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it we're just basically making sure that we've got the house secure for now so we get all this stud work up and then we can work out exactly what we're doing in this area up here so let's get on with it So our stud work frame is up and what you can see, we've got this round here so you can see now how this is going to work. There's going to be basically an understair area there. Our plasterboard will sit in here like this piece is there and then it will just return around at the back of this null post 
and obviously we'll pass all this in. We've got a bit more work to do up here and obviously to carry through there will be a landing that comes across here like I've said. So we just need to obviously bring the stud work up and blank that off when we do everything up there as well. And then this piece here, this will basically just be meshed and then we'll just roll that up nicely into this ceiling up here. So we're just going to get this all boarded up now so it's nice and secure uh, and then tidy up and then we're done. Bye Pete. Bye -bye. See you later. Bye. This is really weird. You've gone like really friendly for me. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Uh, Have you gone off? Hi, John. Uh. Uh, do, do you know what? It depends exactly what sort of mood I'm in. <laughs> you know I mean? I'm in a good mood. You're going to see friendly people. Yeah. If yeah. you're in a bad mood, you're yeah. going to see not so friendly people. Basically, three o'clock on a Friday when it's, it's game That's over. That's game over. Don't, <laughs> do not point this camera at you. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, on that see note, you next on time. Night. <laughs> I'm not going to say morning because this is going to be a continuation from yesterday. We're going to pretend it's still yesterday. Yeah. Wow, what a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get much footage yesterday, so we're just going to carry on and pretend this is just the same day. Yeah, fluid. Yeah, <laughs> nobody will ever know. So next up, Pete's going to get the window boards in, in this and that window over there, and probably out there as well. We'll see how we get on. That's it. Yeah, um, so basically these window boards are not deep enough for our cavity. So what we're going to do, what Pete's going to do, is basically machine these up. We've got some additional timber down here, which is basically going to plant on the back. So Pete is going to trim this off and then biscuit and screw this together. So we'll get a nice seal board, which is the right depth to fit in here with our 30 mil overhang. And then he's going to get the horns cut and all that. So we'll show you the process of this and we will time lapse you, Pete. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got an exciting day today. We've got a potsy in, plaster in. Morning lads. Morning. <laughs> so these guys are gonna get the rest of the kitchen area wrapped up nicely, which gives us a brilliant push ahead. Suba Vaker YouTube and welcome along to another day on site. The guys have been busy. Uh, resident plasterer, Mr. Potts, has got this room finished off. So the kitchen, lounge area is now completely plastered, apart from obviously this area here. That can't be done until the big window is in. Morning, Pete. Morning. So yeah, everything else in here is done now, which is a great step forward. The lining is made for in here. So this is gonna be some double doors here, some opening double doors, um, things on either side, so they'll open. This frame is now in as well. Again, it just needs fixing in place properly. Plasterboard is on, so all the ceiling in here is done. This wall is done. You'll notice on here as well, we've got some Habito board. I'm not sure if I've spoken about this before. So if I have, forgive me, but this is really good stuff from British Gypsum. You can basically screw straight into it. You don't need any fixings, any plasterboard fixings, anything like that. You just use a number five screw straight in there. As long as it's sticking out, I believe it's eight mil out through the back of the board. It is suitable for, I think it's 30 kilos per fixing. So it's, it's very good stuff. It's basically ply that you can skim. It's good, we like it, we like it. So it's going there because there's gonna be some like coat hooks and that across there. Cause this is gonna be a little bench area for putting your shoes on and stuff like that. So there's gonna be coat hooks and that up there. Uh, we've only got a few of these boards, so that's why we've just done that bit. There's gonna be also Habito in this area, which is gonna be the larder, and across here as well, because there's gonna be some wall units there. We will be using that in various spots around here. Morning, Alex. Good morning. So Alex is in here. We've also got the ceiling board in here as well, their moisture resistant board, because this is gonna be a shower room. We've got the tray now, finally. We've been waiting for this for quite a while. The plumbers have been and got all the waste set. 
So we can get this in place, but we now need to get this area screwed in, this little channel. So Alex is just getting set up ready for that. And him and Joe are gonna get this all screwed in nicely. So that is going off quickly. We've got some rapid set cement for that as well. So obviously it will dry nice and quick. When it's fully dry then we can get the tray down and get cracking in here with everything. So yeah, yesterday was quite a productive day. Oh, I'll go and show you as well up on the roof. Will has been smashing it all out. He's done here for now. He's had to drop onto another job. So there's a few little bits that we need doing just to finish off the roof fully, really. But apart from that, morning. morning. Apart from that, it's pretty much done up here. So you've seen all around this side. This is all looking absolutely mint. All the guttering's on down here. Guttering down this side as well. So that is awesome. So this scaffold can actually come down now because obviously we need to do the soft boards. This is all done as well. Dorm is all finished off nicely. We've just got to do a little detail at the top up here with some of our vents that we're going to be putting in to allow our airflow to come up. So that can go on once the soffit board are on. We're doing the soffit board either later this week or early next week. That is it for the minute. We've got lots to get on with today. As usual, I will set up some time lapses and you can watch us work our magic. Joe and Alex are getting this board and done around here with the stud work finished. You've just seen Alex and Joe also getting this bit in here. So that is a good job done. Really glad to see this down now so this floor is complete. I've also got this bit of stud in, in up here. So this is gonna be a little cupboard in here. There's not gonna be a door on there, but we are gonna put a door lining in anyway, just in case, just to future proof the area, in case the clients do decide in the future. They want to get a door on there and cover it over. So we're doing it like this. Uh, what we are going to do as well is batten this wall out because this is going to have an elements board on here and here because this is all this whole wall is being tiled and we're tiling it to sort of there just past the shower tray. And then the rest of it will obviously be moisture resistant board. And then on that wall is going to be insulated board because that's just the standard nine inch external. So we're going to get some insulated board on that. So this room is pretty much where we want to be at the minute. Pete's got this lining in here. That's all sorted, ready to go. He's just got it all blocked up now from the other side. So obviously the house is secure and also putting insulation on the back of that as well because we're, we're getting into winter now. Look. Trousers. What we've got to do next is get this little bit of framework sorted here. There's going to be two large doors here, which are going to be MDF sheets, basically, that are going to just slide across because this whole area in here is going to be a larder. So we need to just put a bit of framework down this side bit of frame right down this side and also what we're going to do is basically pack this out here because we've got our saw stack in the corner we're going to just slightly pack this out here so that sails through we can get some insulation around that as well some of our sound insulation just to stop the noise basically so you can't hear when the toilet's rushed upstairs so we're just going to get this stood out now and then we can crack on with this bit of framework here we've also got to get a door frame in there and two seal boards on over there as well but we will crack on with that either later or tomorrow so let's do it Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give us a big thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so every time we release a new video, you will be notified. Thanks for watching, see you next time.